Uh, Rabbi Kaplan, please. The meaning in Klai Yisrael is that in the Shabbos of the summer we say Pirkei Ovis. Perk every Shabbos. That man says that in Pirkei Ovis there's so much, so much and so deep and you could say one mission every Shabbos and there's, still, there's plenty of time to think about it and talk about it and learn about it. But that's the meaning to say a whole parak every Shabbos. Next Shabbos, Shabbos Parshas Bahar, is going to be, and most people that listen to this talk what will probably be doing next week. So, it's going to be Parak Hay and Parak Elvis. And our famous Mishnah, Mishnah that I always talk about. In Parak Hay, Mishnah Yud, it says, Shiva Dvarim Begolam Veshiva Bechochon. Seven things are in a golem, and seven things are in a chochem. A golem, I don't know, is so good how to translate in English. Somebody there. Coarse, not refined. Uh, he's not, uh, or you could, I would say, in a more edel, a more, uh, more edel uh, lotion, I would say, uh, not analytical. Can't uh, take things apart and pay attention to every detail of the thing. Or in a, you could call it superficial. That's a golem, and the opposite is a chochem. The second thing of the Shiva Dvarim is that a chochem is not nichnas letoch divrei chaveru. When somebody else is talking, he doesn't he doesn't uh, talk in the middle. He waits for the other person to finish. I once was Friday night was um, saying good Shabbos to a certain. Uh, Rav of a shul, or a Kodesh Dibble, maybe. And I uh, had a certain type of relationship with this person, a love-hate relationship, it's maybe called, or I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not so exact. So I wanted to tell this person, as I went by to say good Shabbos, I wanted to tell him that there's a Karl Bach minion in Beit Vigam, and there's a very interesting minic they made in that minion, and the the, the robe of the minion, which I know very well, he says, he announces every week that in this minion we have a minig that we should say good Shabbos to three people that we don't know. Every person should say good Shabbos to three strangers, three people that are strangers to him. I think it's a very nice minig. So I go up to, when I went up to say good Shabbos to this Rav, or whatever you want to call him, so I started saying, there's a Karlbach minion in Beit again. That's how I started. As soon as I said that, he said, Oh, a Karlbach minion. Yeah, I was once in Tzfaz. And I was at a Karlbach minion. And they, and they sang. And they, maybe it was a, a Rosh Chodesh. And they said, How long? They played music. And I was there. And this and this and that. Um, talks about it. And talks and talks and talks. And then all of a sudden he remembers that actually I started the conversation. He says, oh, oh, yeah, what did you want to say? So I'm really thinking back. I think to myself, I should have said, well, I wanted to say good job. Goodbye. And if all you can do is right away talk about yourself and break in when I started talking. So good job. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not so fast. So I just started telling them this story. But it says that a chochum is not nichnas letoch divrei chaveru. 
and somebody else thugs, he doesn't butt in. Now, it, we're all nichts on this, and I'm also nichts on it. And sometimes we have conversations and we can't control ourselves, and he says something. And, and it's, it would be Roy that I should work on myself, and we should all work on ourselves and not do this. Now, the Gro in his spiritual and Pirkei and each Mishnah brings a source from a Posik. Every Mishnah brings a Posik for it. Interesting is that on this Mishnah, Aveno Nichnas Letoch Dibre Chaveru, the Gro brings the source from Bnei God, Bnei Reuven. They came up to Parshas Matos. They came up to Moshe Rabbeinu and they said to him that we want this, the land of Eretz Gilad. We want it because we have a lot of behemoths and it's Eretz Mikne, Vlavodach Mikne. And the Yadua with Moshe Rabbeinu right away said to them, so what are you going to do? You're going to stay here in this land, in this uh, country that's called Eretz Agilad or, or what the, all these places, Atars, Vedim, and Yazir, Vedim. You're going to stay here? And he gave them a whole dog. And look how many Psukim Moshe Rabbeinu said. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One second. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten psukim. Ten psukim of Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu said, "Give them Musa." And in the ninth pasuk, he said to them, "Vine kamtem tachas avuseichem tarbus anoshim chatoim." A group of sinners. You got up. You're going to cause anger of Hashem, and you're going to, and then we're going to have to stay in the midbar more. So they came up to him and they said, No, we never meant that. We're going to go into Archisra with everybody, and we're going to fight the war with everybody. And after we finish the war and everybody gets their nachla, we'll come back and we'll take this. Then Moshe Rabbeinu made the famous Tanai B'nai Goda B'nai Reuven, and he gave it to them. Says the Grom, where they let him say ten psukim, ten psukim of Moshe Rabbeinu, ten psukim of Torah. But, 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 but Moshe Rabbeinu Lachur was wrong. That, that, that's not what they meant. So what did they let him talk? Why don't they just stop him? No, no, we didn't mean that. As soon as he says, As soon as he said that, let them say, No, no, we're not going to stay here. Let them break in and his talk. You see from here that a is not nichnas letach divrei chaver. Let him talk. So lechure, you can you learn that it's a midas der since Moshe Rabbeinu started talking, and the same thing, not only on Moshe Rabbeinu, you have to be mechabed, you have to be mechabed every Jew. So you let him talk till he finishes, and even though it's like we say in this country, lo la inyan, but still we let him talk until then. So for that, for that midas derech so ten psukim of Torah were written. That's how you learn potion. Now, one thing, uh, it, it seems it seems there's something deeper over here. It's not just the Midas Derecher, it's much more than that. Especially that the Chazal don't call him a Bal Derecher, it's or a or a Odom Tov. They call him a Chochom, a wise man. Um, the Bnei Gol, Bnei Reuben, according to the Grob, they are called Chachomim, that they let Moshe Menon talk to them. It doesn't say polite people. It doesn't say nice people. It says Chachomim. But I want to, I was thinking another cash. It's bothering me. In Parshat Shmini, which was two weeks ago, three weeks ago, in Parshat Shmini, when Aaron and his bonim, they burnt the Sarah Chattis, the Chattis of Rosh Chodesh, they burnt. Because
because they were owning him, that another of you died that day. So Moshe Rabbeinu came and he said to them, Two psukim. Madu Eloach Adam and Zachatas bim kama kodesh. Two psukim. I asked them a question. And Aaron answered, No, well, why Why should we eat the soy of Rosh Chodesh? They, uh, of course, there was a special Rosh show that even though I own a coin, I own and that, that is, somebody in his family died that day, it's not allowed to eat Kochim. And they were owning him because not of you died that day. Still, there was a special rush. Sure, they should eat the carbonus of the Shmini Lemilun. Iron said, yeah, that's, you said on the special carbonus, you said that. But, the, but this layer of Rosh Chodesh is not a special carbon. It's Kachay Daris. Every Rosh Chodesh we're going to bring this soil. And that you didn't say. You, I, I, you can't learn out from what, from your, from your horas show that you said to eat the carbonos of that day. You can't learn out for soyros chodesh. That's different. That's 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 what's called kachei deris. On that, there wasn't the special horas show, so that's why we burnt him. So Aaron said his own Havona, his own Svora, and it, 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 it's, it's not to chat a, a chidush, a new, a new piece of Torah, he said. He just said, this, this I never heard from you. This you never talked about. Everything, the whole thing, that, the whole special rush show of eating, you, you didn't mean this. I never heard this from you. So what are you asking why I burnt it? So why don't we learn out from here that a chacham is not nichnas l'toch direch haveru? As soon as Moshe Rabbeinu said the first few words, Magdu lo achaltem es achatos, those words he said, said, what do you mean? They should, have, they should have broken in and said, what do you mean we didn't need it? Of course we didn't need it. You never said to eat it. This is what you said to eat. You meant in the special components, but you never meant this chat. Right away, they should have broken in and said that. You see from here, the chacham is not nechnas. So why did the grub have to go all the way to Parshas Matos? Why couldn't the grub learn it out from Parshas Shmini? Now, I want everybody who listens to this talk to listen good. Because you're not going to hear this piece of terror from all the rabbis that you listen to. So listen good. So I'm asking, why didn't the grow bring a raya from the chattas of Shmini Lamiloim that the chokhm is not nichlas at the And I counted, it's 36 words. 36 words in the Kasha of Moshe Rabbeinu. Madur Chaltam is Sachatas in these two psukim is 36 words. What if they let him talk 36 words? It would have been enough that he should say five words. Madur Allah Chaltam is Sachatas. Boom! Let them ask in the middle. What do you mean? You never told us to eat this Chaltas. So you see, his Chokhm is not Nichnas, Lutok Dibre Chavera. That's what was bothering me. I was thinking like this. Over here, by the Chattas of Shmini Lameluim, the Chattas of Rosh Chodesh, this is a special thing. This is a, this is Inyone Halokha. Moshe Amen was asking a kashe on a halokha. You, you baskin, did you have to burn it? I'm asking you, why did you baskin? Where did you get this psak from? I'm, I'm sure that they thought to themselves, I think Moshe Rabbeinu doesn't know that there's a difference between Coach Shaw and Coach Doris. He knows it also. You think you were Mechadish, a new piece of Torah, that there's a difference between Kodesh Shaw and Kodesh Torah? You're going to teach your Rabbi? No, didn't you know there's a difference? And you're going to break in and tell him. He probably also thought of that, and still he has the cash. And Aaron, when he answered, he, he just answered. He didn't say. He didn't say. Uh, no. Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Kaplan, we're taking a break. Thank you.